Hey guys, welcome back. I'm starting to vlog at night today. I'm heading to Peyton's game. He's playing against the 76ers. I'm wearing this jacket that is from Revolve. It's a really old one from Academy. And then I'm also wearing this Aritzia white tank top. My cargos are from Local European. And then I'm wearing a pair of Air Forces. My hair is slicked back. And then I have a pair of hoops in that are from The Perfect Hoop my jewelry my little emma necklace and this shamrock and all my jewelry that i wear daily like my two bracelets my rings yeah <laughs> everybody it is what day is it today saturday mm -hmm. it's saturday morning and we just woke up it's 12. <laughs> so hi welcome back listen to this horror story so i ordered a coffee table from maternity modern back in august like beginning of august august what 10th i think it was and it took so long to make and it was supposed to get delivered yesterday and it didn't get delivered yesterday. So I don't know when it's gonna get delivered. So <laughs> I feel like we've been waiting for this coffee table for so long and I don't know where it is. So we're still working on the front room. That's a work in progress. The chairs are coming, but I feel like that has just been like, we just haven't had a front room. I feel like the second we have a front room, we'll be able to sit and chill and hang out out there with friends and stuff. It'll be really nice. I ordered this from this brand called For Pete's Sake Pottery. It's like a little pottery company online. It is the cutest thing ever. I've been waiting for this. Oh my goodness. Peyton, look at this. This is so cute. It's a little treat jar for Cleo. Look at it. <laughs> How cute. She's gonna love this. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest little thing. It comes with a top right here. They have a blue one, they have a pink one. I also wanted to get their dog bowls, but I didn't because we have dog bowls up here that, I don't know, I'm thinking of getting them for the Cape House. Those and uh, one another treat thing. Can I get another treat container? And the bowls. Oh, this top is like stuck, but I'm gonna put treats in it. It's so cute. I can't get the top on. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, we're gonna fill it up with. She really likes these bones. These are little dog bones. There's literally three left, but they're by the brand Bruce Bone Broth. And we used to put this bone broth in her food. I talked about it on the podcast that she only eats her food with bone broth in it, but this brand makes a really good dog bone broth. I need to look them up online and order some more because we ran out of their bone broth and obviously their treats and she loves them. You love them. Here, I'll give you one. Here you go. Go ahead. And then we got these just at like a little dog store in our town. And they're little, little gingerbread men. They're so cute. They smell like gingerbread cookies. Wait, what are in these? Garbanzo bean, peanut butter, vegetable oil, ginger, cloves, and molasses cinnamon. Wow. So cute. We have our wedding cake to try today. I thought when you tried wedding cake, they gave you just like a little thing of squares, right? And so the place where we're having our wedding, we're able to pick out, like they make our cake, which is super helpful. But Peyton and I tried the red velvet last night and it was bomb. But they gave us a whole entire cake. So I thought that it was only a little sliver that you got to try. This one is Funfetti and then Triple Vanilla. But we're going to have some friends over today, I think. And then we're all going to eat cake. <laughs> and Cleo wishes she could have some too. I just got these Cali Cosmetic PR cases in the mail. How cool is this packaging? It's shaped like a pencil. And then I think these are all lip liners. Yeah, lip liners. And then a sharpener. So they're all pencil lip liners. I'm really excited to try this. 
she actually sent two over i want to say they're the exact yeah they're the exact same so i'm definitely gonna put these in a giveaway but the packaging is just so cool she always does such a good job on her pr just changed we're heading to my sister's i'm just wearing the same sweatshirt i was wearing but i put on some aloe legging He can hit a gay winner. Or should I get a hat? I should have worn my sweatshirt. Same. Try this one. I didn't know that. Let's, let's okay. try this flavor. Okay. Naughty or nice? Grinch's candy cane. Like, look at screen. Oh, yummy. But Grinch's should I get candy a, cane. Should I get a coffee wrap or should I get a cup? But dairy free chocolate with peanut butter sauce, like loads of peanut butter sauce. <laughs> and then rainbow sprinkles on the side. Coffee frab with regular coffee ice cream. And almond, almond milk. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but to me it does. We ended up getting hungry. It's 10 16. So we just ordered food and are watching this show that watching it i haven't been watching every episode but when i do tune in it's really good but it's also really scary so this is and we're sitting like this at the, at the kitchen island so hi guys good morning it is sunday i'm in the sauna right now i just want to get a little sweat in before I get the rest of my day started. It's still the morning time, but Peyton just left for Indiana. He has a game tomorrow. In Indiana, if they win tomorrow, they make it to Vegas for the in-season tournament. Obviously, if they lose, they come home. So we packed up his stuff this morning sent him off <laughs> and now we wait until we figure out if i go to vegas too for the tournament because it's like they've never done this tournament before in basketball like in season tournament so it's like their first year of doing it and it's really exciting i hope they make it so if they make it i already have a flight booked to vegas on tuesday so if they make it I get on the flight if they don't I cancel the flight so we don't know yet <laughs> I don't know what my week looks like yet so if we go we go if we don't we don't but other than that I haven't started the vlog yet today I have just been doing what well, it's currently 3 I'm about to hop on a briefing call with my manager my assistant this is for just like a scheduling call and also it's our strategizing call for the new year which is like a huge call so i'm about to hop on that and i've been doing like computer work all day like uploading footage videos and doing my analytics what else have i been doing today i had a call with my therapist i was answering emails with our new like for our house that we just bought i'm answering all the emails for that and doing like signing stuff and going back and forth and whatnot and I also had to pay some tax stuff like pay my tax people who handle all my tax stuff and all that so hi hi guys hi. I haven't vlogged since my call I put some self tan on which was much needed but I've been on the phone with Ella Hey. <laughs> everyone can yeah they can see you but everyone was saying they i've been getting so many comments on like youtube and tiktok and stuff and they're like we miss ella and vlogmas videos Aww. so here's your yeah, dose of ella vlogmas what was it 2018 that was like my peak that was your peak well your peak has always is every single year but no that that was like the best year of our lives I that think. was the best year but you were in vlogmas a lot last year 
Yeah. Go watch my, actually I watched my Vlogmas, all my old Vlogmas videos from last year, last two nights ago. Anyway, I'm opening up a package from Jenny Kane and I just got the cutest sweaters. So this first one is the Finley cardigan. How sweet is this? So cute. And then I also got the, I was I'm really excited about this one. This is the Finley crew neck. So cute and gray. And then this little cardigan is the Finley cardigan in wash black. <laughs> How many Finleys did I get today? But so, so, so cute. I love these sweaters to throw on on date nights or if I'm just doing work around the house. I have a discount code for you guys that I'll put on the screen. It's Emma Mac 15 for 15% off. What a sleigh. And then this is the last, this is what I'm so excited about. I got a pillow. I got a pillow for our bed. So it's like one of those big long body pillows. <laughs> How insane. And it's this linen material. So really excited to throw this across the bed after I'm done making it. I feel like my bed was needing a little zhuzh. That's my little Jenny Kane haul. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna go turn on the game and let's hope they win tonight. And then I gotta pack. So you guys can pack with me later. Guys, this game is so stressful. So it's only the second quarter, but there's like six minutes left, I think. And the Celtics are either up by one or down by one. And it has been like this since the start of the second quarter. It's actually insane. So the boys lost and I'm not going to Vegas in the morning. I was low-key packing and like kind of ready to go to Vegas, but we're not going now. It's okay. It was a really good game though. Honestly, the Pacers, like they, both teams played very well. And there was just a lot of aggressiveness. I mean, it was a one point game the whole entire time seriously well not the whole time but you know like at one point i think it was like maybe during the second no it was during like the third quarter the announcer was like this is the ninth time it's tied so far like it was such a close good stressful game but yeah so my fire alarm just went off for like one second i don't know why I actually have to go ahead to pick up my dog because I prepared for going to Vegas. Obviously not going to Vegas. So we have this girl that we know that watches our dog whenever we're gone and she helps out a ton. So we texted her like last week and we're like, hey, you may or may not have to watch Cleo for like a couple days. But she picked her up actually around like 6.30 I wanna say. So now I'm gonna go get her. Cause obviously we're not going to Vegas, so she can come home. <laughs> she probably was having so much fun. Like she came, picked her up, and Cleo was so excited to go. So I'm gonna grab my water and my car keys and head to the city to grab her. Although my car has no gas. And it's nighttime. I just didn't have time to fill it up today because I didn't even leave the house. The baby's home. <laughs> she basically just went there, went on a walk, ate dinner, and then came home. Did you have so much fun though? She's so happy. Sit. Sit. Hey, you go, go, girl. Good morning, you guys. My fiance is home. <laughs> I'm not happy. A little bit of a late start to the morning, which is like okay. So totally fine. But sitting here enjoying my coffee and then I'm gonna head to the gym while you go in for treatment and stuff. <laughs> Just got ready for the gym. <laughs> I'm wearing this Set Active Royal Blue set, Set Active socks, my Hoka sneakers, I have my Park crew neck, my Lululemon wrap jacket, my headphones that have this little headphone cover from Princess Polly. My Chanel bag, just as my normal bag. My dog. 
always in the corner peeking. But I gotta go to the gym, girl. So let's head there. Come on. Oh, she just hit her head on the on the wall. If I'm gonna be completely honest, this is my first workout in like two weeks. I don't feel like I haven't worked out in two weeks, so that's why I'm like, wait, like, is it my first workout? Like, I feel good, but I just haven't worked out in two weeks, honestly. I'm just gonna do a quick workout at the gym, kind of like chill. I'm kind of in the mood to like, you know, I think I wanna head to Lululemon after. So I was like, my in my head today, I was like, I really wanna go to Lululemon, and I was like, wait, my gym is right near Lululemon. I should probably go to the gym first, then go to Lululemon, kind of like a reward, <laughs> you know? But, ooh. Winter time is just hard to get out of your comfy PJs and head to the gym. You know what I mean? Like, it's just cold out. It's so cold. It's 40 degrees today. Thank gosh for being able to start your car. I can start my car through an app so that when I get into it, it's warm, but it's still a bit chilly in here. It's, you know, it's like cold out. Fuller's workouts which are really good but it is cold out now it's a season of it being cold and I have to get gas I like totally waited till last minute for getting gas to the point where my car has like 30 miles I'm gonna stop on my way home I do not feel like that police officer doing the detail just stared into my soul I don't feel like stopping for gas right now. <laughs> I'll do that on the way home. It's a little bit too cold to stay outside. So I may try to go to one of the ones that are like the full service stations. Someone was just being so sweet and letting me go. I just left the gym. I did a really good form workout. Well, I did 12 feet 30 first. And then, which was, it felt good today. Normally 12 feet 30, like, sometimes it bothers me because walking on an incline at 12 is like low-key a lot sometimes. <laughs> you know, obviously if you guys do 12 feet 30, you feel it. Especially if you haven't done it in a bit, it's kind of like, whoa to get back into it. Normally the first day is pretty hard for me, but it was good today. And then I also, what else did I do? Oh my gosh, I can't. I totally just missed the way to go to Lulu. I guess I don't need to go. Oh my God, I'm so sad. Ah. Anyway, I did a form workout. Sammy Clark's form. It's really easy to do from anywhere. Like literally anywhere. You could do it from home. You could do it at the gym. Like it was really good too. I did a 35 minute arms and back and like a seven minute ab one. And it was really good. Obviously arms because like, duh. <laughs> Wedding arms, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it was a really good one. I, I really enjoyed it a lot. So if you guys ever are looking for a good workout that's like not boring too, it's nice. And I used like five and 10 pound weights because I don't love lifting. Like I feel like sometimes when I'm lifting a lot of weight, it's like too much for me because then my body just gets like, I don't know, like I like using lighter weight 
in more reps rather than doing heavier weight and less reps because then I feel like my body gets super like by the I don't know eighth rep I'm like shaking I want to be able to do it you know so this was really really good and I was able to do all of it but she also mixes in some body weight stuff which I love you know me I love a good body weight workout it's like gives Pilates you know so I'm a little upset that I missed the turn for Lulu. I don't know what to do now. Do I go or do I just say it's okay and we go another day? My hair is so flat. <laughs> I like can't deal, but I don't know. Okay, well, oh, that stinks. I'm just not gonna go to Lululemon today. I guess I just didn't need to go. Whatever, we'll look online. Ready, ready. We're gonna lift it together and do the thing right now. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't think I've started the vlog yet today, but good morning. It is the next day. I just got off a call with our wedding planners. I had a call this morning at 10. Went really well. It's currently 1042 and we talked a lot about rehearsal dinner. Honestly, like rehearsal dinner has been stressing me out kind of because we didn't really have a plan for it before and it just was not going as like as I had the idea in my head, you know, but it's okay. So I'm actually heading on to Pinterest right now. I want to get some inspo for tablescape for my wedding because I had inspo already. Like I had this whole entire tablescape kind of idea planned out and now I don't love it. So I'm thinking of maybe changing it up. Ugh, I don't know, because I feel like I've been seeing what I wanted to do everywhere and I'm sick of it. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're sick of seeing something so much. Hmm. So I'm going to try to hopefully change it up a bit or something. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what's up, but I guess that's the only thing I really have to do for the wedding today. There's a couple wedding emails that I have to go through. Ooh, I'm also really cold in here. My, We have the AC on. <laughs> Don't ask. We have the AC on for every floor of our house has like a different little like nest type thermometer. And like the first, the basement heat on, first floor heat on. Second floor, AC. <laughs> like, we like to sleep with it really cold. And it's really cold up here. So, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for tables. I don't know what to do for a tablescape. This actually, this one's really pretty. I was planning on doing long tables and I low key, since I want to change the tablescape, I think with changing the tablescape, I'm gonna have to change the table shape which may create a bit more space. I have to call my sister back. Getting ready for yoga right now. I'm starting my car. It's freezing out. I'm literally wearing socks to yoga because my feet are so cold. And even though it's a yoga sculpt class, I don't know what I want to wear for a top because I'm going to be taking off everything that I'm wearing anyway. Ooh, oh no, I'm going to change. I'm actually going to wear this outfit for yoga. I'm going to put on my Beyond Yoga set, a tank top and pants set because I'm like trying to think and I'm like, I don't really feel like wearing a tank top that's like not with a set and I just want to be warm. Beyond Yoga sets are actually really really warm sets because they're kind of like soft material if that makes sense really loose back in here i'm gonna put this one on it's just like a black a black set throwing on my aloe yoga black puffer and here are my little socks i have my ugg slippers on i do not know where my yoga mat is this is bad, I'm like scrambling. I low key was supposed to leave before 12 
and I would have had so much time. But now, this is light on. Now I don't know where my stuff is. That's not my yoga mat. I'm gonna bring it anyway into the car, but this is not my yoga mat. Huh, I wonder if my yoga mat is in the car. Where is it in the garage, Cleo? I don't know, but let's go. My dog's doing her little happy, happy steps. Happy steps, happy steps. <laughs> parking lot for yoga and you like have to pay like it's like parking spots that don't have meters I feel like sometimes cities are weird or like surrounding towns of the city are weird because they'll have parking spots but there'll be a meter at the spot and you have to like still pay for parking but this one is like one of those ones where it has signs around where it says spot or lot number blah 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 like pay to park here why is my eyebrow all messed up anyway so I just parked I didn't pay for parking because I was like I'm not gonna get like a ticket or anything and I'm leaving you guys in the tow truck it's like you enter on one like there's one section to enter and then there's a section to exit I'm exiting and there's a tow truck entering the enter and I was like he's probably here for me the instructor was amazing she was so sweet super high energy and it made me just feel so good and so excited uh, I don't know, it put me in such a good mood. Like, I feel like I'm in such a good mood. That's also, like, part of working out puts me in such a good mood. That's why I love doing it. But her class was just great. I was like, I loved it. She said that oh, today is Wednesday. She also teaches, like, an hour class at 6 p.m. And I'm like, I wish I was going. But I might drag Pete into it. Although he said he was going to the gym later to do too. He's at practice right now. And then... He wanted to do a yoga class today. We were gonna do one at 4.30, but then he was like, wait, I'm gonna go to the gym later too. So I wanna drag him to her class cause she was so good, like very energetic and not like, not even like energetic where it was like too much energy. It was like, she was just like badass. And it was just so good. I don't know. I'm like so obsessed with her as an instructor. The arms that we did were hard and I, don't like I'm not gonna do arms although I went to the gym yesterday and I did a 35 minute arm and back workout I arms are my least favorite part of the body to work on but like I said yesterday with wedding with wedding coming up and being in a wedding dress I'm starting to get into arms but hers were good they were hard but it wasn't like annoying arm workouts it was like a really good arm workout and my arms like no they're gonna be so sore tomorrow i'm just like really excited for them to be so sore so i can complain and be like oh my arms are sore but yeah it was a really good class core power yoga sculpt 45 minute though which was nice i feel like we got everything in that we needed to get in but the instructor was just so good i wanted more so yeah that's that i'm opening up some packages right now i ordered an amazon alexa we have one, thank god she didn't go off. We have one over there, the same exact one actually. And I'm obsessed with it, like I talked to her. All the, you can FaceTime on these things? No way. Honestly, I don't really know how to use it. I just like the one with the screen. Cause it tells you like the weather in the morning and stuff. So I have that one for our house up here. And then I bought this guy for our house on the Cape. So that's something I've got to put aside to bring down to the cake, which is really exciting. And then, what's this box? I have no idea what this box is. So I'm gonna open it up. Oh, Canon. You guys, I think I just got here from. <gasps> hi there! You inspire us, so we hope this package is the same for you. Say hi to your new favorite and unleash your creativity. We're ready to go where you are. Happy creating, Team Cannon. I could literally start start crying right now. A little Cannon bucket hat. No way. No way, you guys. This is so content creator of me. Look at this. What is this? I've never heard of this. Cannon PowerShot V10 video camera. No way! EOS R50. I want to get an EOS. 
camera. Like at USM 50, I really want one of those. What the heck is this? Wait a minute. Who the heck got me on the Canon PR list? Because my like young vlogging self is freaking out. Oh my gosh, what is this little thing? It's literally a miniature camera. Look how small it is. It's like a phone. So that may be easier to vlog. Take a moment to connect with the camera with your smartphone. Bye. Open two boxes. One was part of Peyton's Christmas present and it actually turned out really cute. And then this next one is a PR box from Ulta. They sent over, I used to love this perfume in middle school and then this serum, I've heard so much about the serum. I've seen so many people use it. And then this, what is this? Blush Bronze Glow Trio by Pat McGrath. I cannot wait to open this up and see what it looks like. And then a little ornament with my name on it. How sweet. <gasps> How sweet is this palette? I can't wait to use it. This is beautiful. And that blush shade is so stunning. When I changed, well, you guys will see this on my TikTok vlog, but I changed the filter. Like we have these air purifiers in our house and I changed the filters for both and they were literally disgusting. I'm gonna go order some more filters so that I change it out every like three months at least, but they were so gross that it put me in the mood to clean up the house because I thought we were away this week, so I canceled our cleaners, but we're not away anymore. We're still here, so <laughs> it was gross though. Yeah, it was really gross. So I just cleaned up the house. I vacuumed and we just had boxes and stuff that we we're kind of leaving around because we've been busy today. So I honestly just did that for, which I mean, honestly it took since like when I got home from yoga at like 1.30 till now when it's 4.30. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some groceries to make dinner tonight. The boys are here, Brian and Chase are here to go to the gym with Peyton to like shoot, even though he just got back from the gym at 1.30. They're heading to the gym again to go shoot and stuff and I'm gonna go grab groceries and make dinner. I think we're gonna make vodka sauce tonight. Surprisingly, Peyton doesn't like red sauce, but he likes vodka sauce because it's pink. So <laughs> I'm gonna go grab the stuff for that. But I just have to run to the store first. And yeah, I'm wearing some Beyond Yoga leggings. I haven't worn my Beyond Yoga leggings since the summertime. I don't know why. And it reminded me how much I love Beyond Yoga. So I'm gonna go order some more colors because I wore my black ones all day and they just are so, so cozy. There's like a black mark on mine, but they're so cozy. So I'm gonna go order some more colors and then head to the grocery store. Okay, I think I mentioned that I'm making vodka sauce for dinner and I picked up all of the ingredients that I need and some other things we needed from the store. So I got some bread. We like to get the fresh bakery bread and they have like a slicer next to the bread bakery section that slices your bread for you. So I just got this sliced in for three different settings. There's three eight, one half, and a bigger one. I forget what the big one is, but I got the middle size. There's a small, medium, large, basically. I got the medium. We normally like to get the large, but I'm thinking of using this bread. Well, I got this as more of a sandwich bread and this size bread is perfect for sandwiches. I'm like going on a table. Anyway, Khalifa Farms or Khalifia Farms has three ingredient almond milk. So I got that. I also got some pork sausage, like bulk of it, instead of it being just like the actual pork sausage where you squeeze out of the casing to cook tonight to put into the pasta. I got heavy cream for the pasta, just organic valley heavy cream. And then I got, this isn't for dinner, but obviously. But I got some canned tuna because I think we were running low from the last time I checked, yeah. Got some more canned tuna. I got some whipped cream for our hot chocolate because honestly, I got oat milk whipped cream last time because dairy obviously, you know, whatever. But it tastes like shit, honestly. It's like horrible. So I just got the real cream one. And I'm excited about that. I got three kombuchas. These are my favorite flavor kombucha. 
and kombucha is really good for your gut. I try to drink one every day, every other, I don't know, but it's really good for your gut. And I, I honestly feel really good when I drink it. So I try to implement it more. I got some parm, a new block of parm. Ours is old. This is my favorite uh, cheddar for sandwiches if I do like a tuna melt or something. It's the Organic Valley raw sharp cheddar. I, I really don't feel all like my tummy hurts when I eat this cheddar. Honestly, my tummy doesn't hurt when I eat like raw cheeses like parm or like a raw cheddar but it hurts when i'm having like this or this or ice cream you know like stuff like that kind of hurts i actually don't know if this hurts but like this type of stuff and ice cream and those types of things got some more tomato paste i think we already have some but i'm not sure if we have enough these looked bomb so i got some strawberries these are just the wow Organic? I don't know. They looked amazing. Super colorful strawberries. So, kind of like a little treat, sweet treat. I got some. My favorite lettuce for salad is a sweet baby lettuce. I love this one. But I wanted to do like a little side salad tonight. That's like a very simple, just basically salt, pepper, balsamic, and olive oil type salad. I love, love that type of salad. I got two things of crackers from Simple Mills. I love having this with tuna or as a snack. They're great crackers, really simple ingredients too. Although, oh, I mean, it's so organic, but this tomato basil one has a lot. I got one singular shallot for my dinner, or our dinner. And then I got this type of pasta tonight. Because we're doing a vodka sauce, I kind of wanted a pasta to kind of hold it. I got two. I'm gonna make one, but I don't know if Peyton's friends are staying for dinner. So I got two to prepare, but I don't know. So if they do stay, then we have enough. If they don't, then we could obviously have leftovers and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep out everything that I'm going to need really for dinner alexa shuffle changes by just alexa alexa <laughs> fuck alexa shuffle the album changes by justin bieber guys i just asked her to shuffle changes and it was the xxx song that's like so depressing <laughs> That's so sad. R.I.P. XXX, but I used to listen to that song in high school. Remember? Okay, if you're like been here for a while, remember me in high school? Because like I don't. It was a fever dream. But I used to listen to like rap or like scary music. I mean, I still do sometimes, but it was like my my personality. No. How bomb does this look so far? I'm so excited to eat. I'm gonna add some parm. Here is the pork that I just cooked. That's Italian pork sausage. And then I grated some fresh parm to put in. So I'm gonna add fresh parm, probably like that much. Don't worry you guys, I literally washed this after I was cooking with the, cooking the pork with it, or the sausage, whatever it is. I'm gonna add the sausage. I've gotten oil all over my sweatshirt during this. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna go get some lunch in the city. I'm wearing my little, it's just not little at all, but I'm wearing my Aritzia jacket with a Jenny Kane sweater, some Lululemon Align flares, and I have a pair of Adidas Sambas on with it but they're not they're not vibing today i don't know i'm just kind of throwing something on i got a little skin tint on because it's honestly scary over here you know what i'm just gonna do a tiny bit of giorgio armani foundation mom if you're watching this video i'm honestly gonna give you this because i don't know if i love it so i think i'm gonna give it to you 
and I'm gonna just throw some of this on just to color match my face with my square tan, not my square tan, my self tan. I'm gonna do some of this Say blush in Chile. I love this blush. And then I'm gonna probably fix my hair up a little bit. See how far that can take you, honestly? You guys probably can't even see from the far. A little bit more. Okay, now we're ready to go. My boy's cute. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Look at our dog, she matches us. <laughs> we're trying to be like you today, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, let's open up my flowers. Come here, come here, give me a hug first. pretty these are they're very like whimsical oh my god there's so many Pina colada yeah i'm done santa's cookies prepare to be buried in cookies orange creamsicle wow i'm so excited me too Oh, you funny boy. You're silly that you do that. Silly I do what? Love you? Huh? Yeah. Let me take a picture of these. Oh my gosh, yay. Okay, I want to try these two. Cookies and cream. And I want to try... You think this is actually going to take like cookies and cream? Yeah, I do. Want to try it? I'm not taking a bite. You're going to try it? Take a bite. Go for your gut, right? What? Go for your gut. Mm-hmm. <gasps> there's a cookie on top. Break it, break it. <laughs> Guys, look, there's a cookie on top. Break it. Wait, I want to take a picture. OMG. Do you want the first bite? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Take it. Definitely it's not gonna taste your like your type of cookie and cream. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> he didn't like it. Okay, I'm gonna try this other cookie flavor. That was good. What's this one? Santa's cookies and milk. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. You're not really supposed to double dip your spoon. Bomb. That's bomb. Peyton, this one's even better. Oh my gosh, this one's made with Sample Mills cookies. I don't show you guys really what work I have to do. I don't know, I just feel like I don't really show you guys like the work that I do because it's low-key boring. Like if I'm recording ads, unless you guys actually want to see that, you let me know if you actually want to see when I record ads or when I set up my computer <laughs> and like link stuff, upload a video, answer emails. Like that's the type of stuff that I just don't really show. For good reason. I'm letting my dog go right now. She's in the back. And then I'm gonna head to the gym. And then I need to figure out after the gym, I'm gonna head to the grocery store. Peyton is the most pickiest, but not pickiest person ever. So when it comes to dinner, Sometimes I'm like, let's make this. And he's like, no. <laughs> so I have to find out something, come on, to make. Obviously last night he was obsessed with that. And he was like, let's have it again. And I'm like, honestly we could low key have it again. But I want to try something new. Like a different one, a different pasta maybe. But winter time is just so hard to cook because it's cold. And like, what are you going to make in the winter time? You know, it's like cold out. But yeah, let's go to the gym. Come on, Cleo. So I just left the gym and then I went to the market and I got like ingredients to make 
dinner tonight. I got groceries. Bought everything, honestly, that we needed. And to make dinner, obviously. I was leaving the grocery store and I was thinking about it. I was like, how? Because I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Like, how the heck my mom... Like, moms are amazing. Moms are seriously so ama amazing. They do so much for you. And I feel like growing up as a kid, I didn't really realize honestly like how much because I feel like when you're a kid you're just like going about life and you're just doing your thing and you're like whatever like I want to hang out with my friends but now when I'm now that I'm older and like I'm thinking about one day having my own family and Peyton and I like are always talking about kids and all that type of stuff I just am now like wow my mom really did so much for us growing up and I really appreciate it and I love her so much and it makes me just be like she's like a wonder woman like she, I don't know how she did it I don't know how she did it she was like working two jobs she'd still cook us dinner every night she'd keep the house clean like we didn't have the luxuries that like Peyton and I are allowed to have or are able to have nowadays like Peyton and I are able to have like house cleaners and people helping us and all that type of stuff but my mom just like she really did it with no help like she was just other than obviously my dad but you know moms are moms they do everything and so I don't know it just it's so crazy like she would call us though on her way home if she like stopped at the grocery store she's like get water boiling I gotta make dinner when I get home and I was just thinking like oh my god I'm gonna leave the grocery store like should I call Peyton and be like start boiling some water but I don't know I just it's just so funny I don't know I was just thinking about it I love her so much wanted to share my little thoughts. Now I'm gonna head into the house and make some dinner. It's been such a long day. I, I actually was at the gym today. I think this is the last time I filmed. It was like on my way to the gym. I got there and I'm walking up the stairs going into the gym. If you know Equinox, they have like concrete stairs. Like there's no like, you know how normally stairs like have like a kind of a rounded edge. They're like two pieces of concrete meet each other. Oh, I hit my leg not my leg my kneecap so per perfectly i fell and i hit it so perfectly oh my gosh instant bawling my eyes out like i've never felt this type of pain before and normally like i feel like i'm good with pain low key like i just have never felt this type of pain before <sighs> it was so bad i couldn't even work out so i left and i ended up icing my foot all day and just sitting on my computer downstairs like doing work so here I am. I feel so much better now that I iced it all day that I feel like guilty for like laying and resting all day because I feel like I could have been doing stuff because now I feel fine. Well, not 100. Like I couldn't run right now and it kind of hurts to step, like to bend it. Come on in. It kind of hurts to bend my knee a little bit, but whatever. Anyway, heading to Peyton's game right now and then i think we're going out not even i think we're going out tonight after the game so i'm not really wearing anything crazy i'm just wearing like this white t-shirt my below the belt belt pair of kate jeans and my veronica beard boots and i'm just gonna bring my chanel bag as my bag but i wanted to update you guys Good morning. I just cleaned up the kitchen this morning. I feel like I like to do that at, at like night before I go to bed so that I, I wake up to a clean kitchen. But I didn't do that last night. We actually went out last night after the game. So much fun, actually. It was one of Peyton's teammates' birthdays. So we went out and celebrated that. And I'm like not hungover because I barely even drank, which is so nice. Like, I think I had. A glass of wine and a glass of champagne and I feel really good like but those were really far apart like I had the glass of wine probably at like 10 30 and then I had the glass of champagne at like 1 30 like that's what I'm saying it was really spread out so I'm like not hungover and I feel so good and I'm like so happy I'm so happy that I'm not hungover because I obviously still like enjoy 
hanging out with our friends and going out and stuff but the worst is waking up so hungover but anyway i'm waiting for my sister to call me back she's currently at her eyebrow appointment and we're i just need her to call me back but i'm currently looking on revolve and forward at like all the new things that they have because i feel like I need to do a little bit of sh not like shopping but i have like revolve credit and stuff oh i love this free people top for pilates i think i may get it this free people top the intimately free people duo corset cami is a really good top to wear for pilates so i think we we'll ordered that actually I've been meaning to get this, so I'm gonna get that. Oh my god, they have, I really like these. Oh, that bag's cute. They have, these might be a little bit much, but I kind of like all black superstars. I used to wear the white superstars a lot, and then I stopped wearing them because I'm more of like a, I don't know, but I kind of like the all black ones low key, but I don't know. I don't even have my size. Never mind, I can't. Yeah, what's new on Revolve? I don't even know what's new. Dresses. <gasps> Let's see if there's any gowns on here. Just for like events and stuff. Like I, there's a gala that we like got invited to tonight, but I don't think we're going because like we got invited super last minute. But. I want to see like what gowns Revolve has because I love getting Revolve gowns. This one is stunning. I'm not a big slit girl, but I love the cut of this one. Like I love how it's a halter, but it's like a v-neck halter, not like a halter that comes up like this. And I'm not really, like I don't love slits, but slits don't look bad with tights or anything underneath. So No, I'm going to get some computer stuff done. I have to open up my email because I... Didn't really open it yesterday, I did, but like I definitely have some like home emails and stuff like that for our house, like not necessarily work stuff because we honestly don't hear from our manager and our assistant over the weekend, depending on our brand deals that we have. We don't hear from them over the weekend unless we have like a lot of brand deals coming up. I actually have a really exciting brand deal coming up and it's for Instagram. And it's with this brand that's like a really big brand, but I ordered the Ninja Creamy to make homemade ice cream for basically my brand deal, but like for life too, because we've been wanting it for so long and it finally is back in stock and it's actually on sale on Crate and Barrel. So I ordered it and I was like put two and two together and I was like, wait, this would be so good for my brand deal, but also like Peyton is like, Where's my ninja creamy? Like, I really want my ice cream. Anyway, I'm drinking my coffee right now. For the first time this morning, I haven't had coffee yet. It's literally 12.40, so I have to like get this drink in. And then I'm gonna sit in the sauna. So, happy Saturday, happy weekend. Thank God it's the weekend. Finally, we get to just relax and chill and hang out and like have a good weekend it's a busy week coming up so i'm kind of just like prepping like i really want to try to get a lot done this weekend if i'm being honest before the week because it's just gonna be like a lot of people in town jess is coming to visit and i'm so excited it's gonna be a really fun week so i'm definitely trying to kind of like get all my stuff in that i need to get in but yeah anyway that's all just wanted to update you already we're going out to dinner tonight with everyone i'm wearing this lamarck leather trench coat my orson and iris top i have danielle guzio mini skirt on wolford tights and then my veronica beard boots i just did my makeup i'm wearing these earrings from the perfect hoop and if you guys want an updated makeup routine let me know i feel like i've gotten down my new winter makeup routine i love it it's like way better than my one last year and then i just have a little bow in my hair so yeah that's my outfit 
I haven't vlogged today because we really haven't been doing anything. We kind of just were chilling tonight or today and watching movies and stuff and just like hanging out, but nothing insane at all. Nothing new. So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and that's that. next morning Peyton's at practice it's actually a Sunday today Peyton's at the gym though doing his thing <laughs> and I am about to do my skincare I actually did the sauna this morning for about like a little bit almost 50 minutes like 47 minutes felt really good but now I'm doing my skincare and then I have to get ready and go pick Peyton up at the facility and then we are going to my mom's pop-up. She's having a pop-up in Beacon Hill for her store today. So we're gonna go do that and go see her and walk around the little shop. And yeah, so super excited. Maggie's gonna meet us there. Then I think we're gonna get lunch after that. But it's a Sunday and I am doing laundry today. And cleaning up my office from the week and weekend to reset for the week. So I'm kind of just acting today as like a Sunday reset before the week starts. We're gonna chill this week. Not week, but chill today. <laughs> and that's that. I'm actually trying out a new moisturizer. I have my vitamin C serum on right now, but I wanted to show you guys the moisturizer I'm trying out because I asked you guys on TikTok like what moisturizers you recommend and stuff and I need one that's like super hydrating like I've, I have some that are like light that are good for like summertime hydration but I need one that's like thick because wintertime I'm using my alpharet like dries out my like nose in parts of my like little blemishes that I used to have and stuff like this was dry and that was dry a week ago and it just like makes my makeup application not look good but anyway I'm trying out the Kiehl's ultra facial cream this is just a little one and we're gonna see how I like it I've been liking it I used it last night I used it the other day when I went to the gym too and it just feels nice on your skin. So, I'm gonna put a little bit on. It's low-key been warm this weekend in Boston. Like yesterday was 55 degrees, which is so insane because it's December. Like, it's December 10th right now. Um, it's so insane. So, I don't know what to wear today to my mom's thing. I'm like, it's so gray out lately too. That's another thing that's really hard. Pete and I were talking about that this morning when we were on the way to dropping him off. And we were like, Boston is just so gray this time of year. It's like really hard. I'm almost done with Christmas shopping. I just have my brother left. Mike, if you're watching this video, hey. And I do the same thing for my brother every year. I just get him clothes out of lemon because boys are so easy to shop for, especially my brother, because like he just wears his normal Lululemon stuff to work every day. So he gets a lot of use out of it. And honestly, like, I just get him like a ton of stuff. So I'm debating on doing the same thing. That's like the, what would be my fourth year in a row, in a row going to Lulu and just picking out a ton of stuff. So I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to get a little bit creative for him and get him something cool. I feel like he's so creative and he always gets Maggie and I like the most creative gifts, whether it's like our birthday presents or like listen to what he got Maggie for her birthday. Unless you guys watch Maggie's videos and you know, but if you don't, he got her this special like Aperol from Italy. And you know, my sister, my sister loves Aperol spritzes, but normal Aperol that you get at like the market, 
with like a liquor store or something has a ton of red 40 in it which is obviously like not good for you and so my brother got her this like special one that has no red 40 and it's actually made with like natural ingredients which is very thoughtful so i'm like he's so thoughtful and he's really good at that type of stuff i want to see if i should get him something like thoughtful or what i can't wait to show you guys i just tried to put lotion on my hand i put soap i can't wait to show you guys what well i don't know if i can i'm gonna show it to you also this video is probably not gonna be up i'm trying to decide if i should tell you guys what i got paid in for christmas because i don't know if this video is going to be up beforehand or not but i got him really good presents for christmas because it's like little things that he's like mentioned before or like you know things like that like the first thing which he actually already knows because he saw it in my closet but i got him a ramoa carry-on suitcase he needs a carry-on suitcase he doesn't have one he just has his duffel bag for when he travels and he travels every other day basically like depending on his game schedule so i got him the extra big like the bigger because they have ramoa has two carry-ons it has a small carry-on and then it has a big carry-on so i just got him the big one in the black metallic kind of like it's the exact same one that i have like i have the silver big one and i got him the black big one and then i also got him i don't know if i should say it because he doesn't know the rest of the things that i got him and if, I, if he watches this video before Christmas, then he'd find out. But he knows that one. So I'm not going to say the rest. Maybe we'll just see it Christmas Day when we open our presents. Which, speaking of, here's one more thing that I'm waiting on coming in. It hopefully, hopefully it gets here before we leave and I have to pack everything up to take with me when we leave. Like, I have to wrap all the presents and stuff. Because we're doing Christmas in LA this year, which is so different. I've never done Christmas away from home. And... So this year he has a game Christmas Day against the Lakers. And then he has a game like two days before that against the Clippers. So we leave like the 21st or something. He leaves before that because he has games in Northern California. But we leave the 21st for Christmas. And we're spending it with his family out in LA. So, well, not his whole family. But his parents are coming out and then his sister Lexi is coming out. So I think we're just going to do like stuff together. A little dinner and hang out but i'm so excited to go to la i had a dream last night about la i just can't wait to like go to my workouts that i used to go to go to my coffee shops air one obviously <laughs> like i just can't wait to be back and then gone so yeah but cleo is gonna stay at my dad's on the cape while we're there she has a lot of fun there she really enjoys being on the cape i'm actually so excited to bring her down to our house for the first time because we have a massive yard and she's gonna love the yard but when she's on the cape she always goes to ella's house and plays with ella's dogs and yeah i'm just excited for that so i need to figure out what i'm wearing today and put away some laundry that's on my ground so yeah we just left my mom's pop up let's go up here oh! and we got graystone i got french onion soup and it's so good i've never had french onion soup before and it's really yummy and then i got half a caprizi you can do soup and half a caprizi I kind of wish they were doing a tomato soup. They had one a couple weeks ago, and I didn't get it, but I really wish I did. But this one is bomb. 